Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Skyrim. Today, I want to talk about the Thane system. And I really, 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 really love the system of being a Thane in Skyrim. I think it's one of the best things that could have added into it. And it it's because it adds to the open world element of Skyrim. You know, when you play Oblivion, you don't have to do the main quest, but when you're walking around and you're helping people out, or you're doing the Fighters Guild or the Mages Guild, you really don't get that much recognition. Really, if you're the Hero of Kavach, you get recognition. But like, if you go and complete the Mages Guild, you're really only a head honcho in the Mages Guild, right? If you join the Fighters Guild, they're not like, oh, you are the Archmage and you wanna join the Fighters Guild? Okay, but you're not the head honcho. And I wish it was like that in Skyrim too, but the Thanes, they kind of make it so it's like, you help out the Jarl, right? And I like that the systems to become a Thane are all the same. I think that's a good move. So you help out the Jarl. You do the thing for the Jarl and you become a Thane. Then you have to help out the people of that hold. So you have to know the hold. And it's kind of like a, a soft, a very soft push to be like, okay, look, you got to learn about this city, right? That's what it is. Because I remember I became the Thane of Solitude for the first time, like last month. And I, I feel like I know Solitude way better as a city. Like, the only cities I feel like I know now is Whiterun, Solitude, and Morthal, because I'm becoming the Thane of Morthal. And then you have cities, like even Riften, I've been in Riften plenty of times, Falkreath, and I just don't feel like I know those cities as well. I feel like they just kind of seem alien to me. So it's really nice that, you know, you kind of get this exploration of the the in-game lore you know there's not like Morthal was a ancient city of the ancient times and you have to respect our traditions and the, the this king name and this name and this thing and this thing and this thing and just no it's like hi we need to do this and oh you can help out our people thank you you know that's what it is and I, I like the Thane system I wish that like also if you were a Thane of like You'd be like, oh, the Imperials have like five holds. So you are an uh, uh, Imperial Thane in two of the five holds. And then if you became an, a Thane in all the holds controlled by the Imperials, whether or not they won the war, then you'd unlock a quest to be like an Imperial General or a Stormcloak General or something like that. That would be cool if you just could bump it up to the next level and become important in the government of these two nations rather than just you are uh basically a knight in this place and in this place and in this place and you know it's nice because it's also a very simple route to unlocking houses too like buying property is super simple you know that you have to go help out the yarl and do this like the system that they have in place to become the thane is very cool I think that it lacks a bit of uniqueness that they could have added to, like I said, the, either the Stormcloaks, the Imperials, you become all the Thanes of their holds, so then you get unique quests. And, you know, crossing the county barriers and all that. So, that's really my thoughts on the Thane system in, a, in Skyrim. I, I love it. It's amazing. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more Skyrim content. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you next episode, stream vlog or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.